Hey, what is up guys, Tava here, and today I'm gonna to be doing a fairly deep dive in how to create a professional Google Sites website for completely free. And I think a lot of people don't realize how to make this and how easy it is to do. So that's why I'm gonna be diving into this video. A lot of people have also requested this video from a previous Google Sites tutorial that I made a while back. And so this is finally coming to fruition. This is gonna be that tutorial. I think Google Sites is a super powerful tool that a lot of people don't realize how powerful it is and it is completely free compared to some of the other free website companies that aren't exactly completely free. So Google Sites is great because you're able to add your own domain completely free of charge if you've paid for that domain and you're able to customize it and update it really frequently and it doesn't have a bunch of that advertising for that specific company like Wix or Weebly or whatever those other companies are. So I really like Google Sites for how clean you can make it look and how professional it is at the same time. So in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing how to create a clean and professional website that basically advertises what you want to represent as yourself or as a brand, and basically just get that out there so people can see it and maybe potentially click on it and invest in whatever you're doing. Okay, so obviously the first thing we need to do is go to Google Sites, and once you're inside of Google Sites, it's going to look pretty plain, but the first thing you're going to do is create a blank site. I like to create blank ones because the pre-made ones, they just aren't as customizable, so we're just going to click blank here, and as you can see, it's going to load up your new site. So from the beginning, the site doesn't look great. It looks like some of those cheesy sites that you might see teachers have or people just create to have a random site, and they don't really put much work into making it look professional. So this is our starting point, but we can make it look significantly better. The first thing I like to do is change the theme, and if you go over to themes on the right here, you can see you have a couple of choices. The theme isn't super important, but it allows you to set a specific font as well as a color style. So if you click through each theme, you can see underneath, you can choose the font style, and you can see what each font looks like to decide if that's the font style you want to go with your actual site. And you can always change your site style whenever you want. You aren't set in stone with it. So it is good to just get creative here and mess around with it. For this specific tutorial, I think I'm going to take the Aristotle theme and then I'm going to choose the font style to be the bold font style because I like how this looks here. It's very clean. For the color accents, which are basically just these little colors here and other places you'll find on the site, I think I'm going to choose white like the font color I don't really need it to be specific but it just makes it look pretty clean so since I'm making the site for myself the page title is obviously just gonna be my name so it's just gonna be my name I'm gonna have that in all caps here and then underneath if I click enter I can kind of create a subheading so for this let's just get as basic as I can get will be a filmmaker I'll be a influencer and a photographer now what I'm gonna do is highlight this and then center it in the middle and then I'm gonna change it from normal text to heading to make it a bit bolder underneath the main title. And now what we need to do is get rid of this really ugly picture here that they set by default. I have no idea why they set it this way, but it really doesn't look great. What I like to do for the home page, especially if you're an artist or something and you just want to show off who you are, is to create a very simple and basic home page which just represents your kind of theme as an individual. So for me, this means changing the header type from banner to cover, and this is just gonna cover the entire front page, so when they open the page, it's really just gonna have a nice image with your title on it, very simple and clean, and represents what you are. Now the next step is to change the photo behind here. For me, I have a lot of sample photos that I use for YouTube, and other things that are just great banner photos that work well in situations like this, but if you don't have them, I highly recommend building some to use in places like a website. So Let's go to upload. I have a photo here that I want for my cover image, so I'm just going to click on it and click open, and then it's going to load inside of the Google site, and as you can see, it looks pretty clean behind here. So this is basically the finished home page. It's very clean, represents who you are, has a nice image behind it, but one more thing I like to add to the home page is social media links down at the very bottom below my main title, so if they see it and want to click and see what things you've done, it's really easy for them to access it. I've made a previous tutorial on how to do this, which you can check out with the link right here, but it's pretty simple to do. Basically, all you're going to do is load a PNG image of a logo of basically YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, whatever they are, load it into the Google Sites, and then you're going to basically click on it and add a link to that specific photo. So when you click on the photo, it takes you directly to that website. Unfortunately, Google doesn't have a way to do this built in for social media links, so you kind of have to trick the system, but it does work very well once you've built it out. So again, watch that video for some more detail on this tutorial. And one more thing to make the site look even cleaner is when you have your logos down here at the bottom for the social medias where they can click on it, what I like to do is change the background color. And if you go to the backgrounds right here for the sections, you can see that the options for the theme are really limited. Basically, you only have three colors, which are pretty much all white, just different shades of white. So what I like to do is go to add an image, but instead of uploading the image, simply select image, go to search, which is search Google, and then I like to search black, find a black image, select it, and then the background is instantly black, 
which looks a lot cleaner in my opinion for the type of style that I usually go for for these websites. A few more steps that will really sell your website as professional is adding a favicon as well as a logo. So what you can do inside of Google Sites is right up here on the top left under site title, basically name it whatever you want. For me, it's just gonna be my name here, but then you're able to add a logo here. So if you click add logo, you can add brand images. So under logo, you can upload a logo and it will add it right to the top of your site. So it's super easy to see and makes it look more professional and thought out. So for me, I'm just gonna to go to logo, upload, go to my desktop, find a specific photo I want and click open and then it's gonna open this photo as my logo. So this isn't the greatest photo, but as you can see, it pops up right here in the corner, so you can choose whatever photo you want to sit there and really represent your brand. Another thing that makes your website look even more professional is adding a favicon. This is basically the little icon that you see at the top left of browser tab. So this little icon right here, you can replace inside of Google Sites to make it whatever you want and really sell your brand even further. So just for example, let's upload the same picture I just uploaded, and you can see that it will update as the favicon, which will go in the top corner. And then one more super awesome professional thing about Google Sites is that you can add a custom URL for free, whereas other sites require you to pay for actually having that URL. In Google Sites, you can add a custom URL right here, www.yourdomain.com, whatever it is. You do have to pay for the domain, obviously, but it is free to assign it to this website inside of Google Sites, which is absolutely awesome for people that want pretty affordable websites. Okay, so we have our homepage done, but now we need to make another page for our portfolio. So under pages on the right here, we're gonna go to the bottom, click the plus and call it portfolio. I'm gonna click done and it's gonna create another page which you can access by clicking these three little lines over on the side, shows the sidebar and allows you to basically go from home to portfolio or whatever page you want. So as you can see, it creates a page much like the front page, but we wanna change this. We don't want it to look the same. So basically what I'm gonna do is change the header type from that cover to just a banner. So it's a lot smaller, but it still shows what this page is about. I specifically like to change the image between pages. Okay, so the portfolio, I'm just gonna choose a random picture of a camera, select it, and then have it apply to the background for the banner. So now you really have flexibility creating this page however you want. So from themes, we're gonna go over to insert, and you can see all these different types of things you can insert into your specific page. The specific things I like to do are add these built out layouts already. So I can basically just click on one of these. It inserts a bunch of places where I can add videos or photos, and then I can add a title and a description to each of those. So if I'm trying to show different video projects I've worked on, basically I can add a video of that specific project. So if I click here, I have the option to add a YouTube video and it will actually bring up different projects I've done. So in my portfolio, if I wanna bring up the DP reel that I just made, I can search it in the YouTube bar, click on it and then click select. And it's gonna add into this part of my portfolio. And I can basically say DP reel and I can add a description if I wanted to basically saying that, oh, these are my best shots from the previous year from these projects shot on this camera, whatever it is. And you can add all these different examples throughout your portfolio. So for the second one, I could do a video calendar map, whatever it is, but you like to stick with the same things throughout the portfolio to make it have the most sense. And again, I really don't like this section background being white here. I think it really detracts from the subjects that are trying to be shown on the specific page. So again, what I'm gonna do is go over to the section background, image, select image, go to the search tab, search for black, click the first black image, and then boom, that really just makes the whole subject pop a lot better inside of this portfolio page. Okay, so now that I've given you those tips, I'm gonna finish off this video by showing you my actual Google Sites website, just to give you an example of it in action. Now the reason I'm not gonna be going through an entire website build is because one, it takes forever, and two, Google Sites is pretty self-explanatory as you can see. I mean, basically just look around the website at the tools it has, get creative with it, and you can pretty much come with a good looking outcome. There are just a couple things that I touched on that aren't super self-explanatory, but hopefully those have been covered now, and now I'm gonna be showing you my own website and how professional you can make it look for completely free. So as you can see, this is my finished Google Sites website. It looks like that example we were showing, but it's a little bit of a different style, but as you can see, super simple here. Cover image, name, title, and then those social media links here at the bottom, I did them in black and white with that black background here, so if I click on YouTube, brings up my YouTube account, which is super cool. So as you can see, I have my own custom domain here, topakessler.com is a secure link, which is super cool. So anyway, if we go from the homepage, I have my YouTube page, which basically describes what my YouTube channel is about. And again, I use this format where I have the black background and then I have these videos basically laid out with that self laid out structure. You can also do it individually, but I just like how I can lay out these videos 
different sizes, people can click on them and watch them. Under portfolio, like I described, I have that black background and then I have these videos here with these titles and descriptions underneath them so people can easily click on things to see what they're about. And I also have different category titles here. So I have cinematography, editing, basically just different sections of my portfolio that people can click on and watch the corresponding videos that represent that kind of style. And then at the bottom, I just have some photography because why not? It's in this kind of cool scroll wheel where you can click through different photos, get a good example of what my work looks like. On the side, I've also created some pages for some more specific pieces of work. So in this case, there are two documentaries that you can click on, get a nice cover image, and then get a description and watch it with this video link here. Down below, I have an about page, which is basically just a description of who I am, what I do. Super simple, again, with that black background there. And then a contact page, very last part where it's basically just a Google Forms that I made inside of Google Forms, connected it to the Google site, and you can fill it out with your name, email, and question. Send me a question if you have a question. And uh, basically you can just submit that, and it's super clean, it's secure, looks nice, and again, completely free through Google Sites. I know the praise in this video makes it seem like a paid commercial for Google Sites, but it's not at all. I just really like their platform and I think it's better than the other free website companies out there because it is built into the Google system of things. So it comes with Google Sites as well as YouTube, as well as Gmail, all those things that are inside of the Google network. And it's just really nice to have them all concise in one place and you can kind of draw from one to the other and make a nice website. Of course, Google Sites doesn't have everything. You can't customize animations and you can't get super fancy with all the effects that you have inside the website, but it is a very good way to make a professional website quickly that you can share with clients and get your name out. Anyway, that's it for today. If you like this video, be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you all next time.